This is the Shock Absorber Netball Academy at Intersport.com. In this guide, we're going to look at the essential defensive skills and principles you'll need to know. Whenever the opposing team has the ball, your team is defending, and every player on your team has a part to play, no matter how near or far they are to the player with the ball. You need to work together as a team to slow down the pace of attack, limit passing options, force errors and create opportunities to regain possession of the ball. Let's start by looking at the basic principles of defending. Firstly, you need to restrict the space and movement options available to attacking players by positioning yourself correctly on the ball side and applying pressure by constantly responding and adjusting to their attempts to get free. Secondly, you should try to take the momentum out of the attack by working hard to reduce the passing options available for the player with the ball. If the opposing team uses their full three seconds to release each pass, then it gives your team the maximum available time to get into the best defending position for each and every pass. Finally, you need to use defending skills and techniques, like interceptions and tips, to create opportunities to regain the ball. In this guide, we're going to look at the essential skills you'll need to defend well. You can find out about other skills like intercepting, defending a shot and competing for rebounds in other guides in this academy. There are said to be three stages to defending, and whenever the opposing team has the ball, different players in your team will use different stages, depending on where they are in relation to the player with the ball. The first stage of defending is marking an individual player. Your objective at this stage is to prevent the player from receiving the ball, either by defending so well that the player with the ball chooses an alternative pass or by intercepting the pass. Here are the key points you need to remember for stage one of defending. Firstly, you have to be ball side, that's standing between the player with the ball and the player you are marking. Secondly, you need to be in a position to see both the player you're marking and the ball simultaneously. To do this, you'll need to be close to your opponent, with your body angled so you have sight of both the player with the ball and the player you're marking and use peripheral vision. You need to stand with a body position that allows you to react and adjust using rapid small steps to react to changes in the other player's movement. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, your weight should be balanced and on the balls of your feet. You need to keep your head up and your arms should be held in a comfortable position ready to run onto the path of the ball to intercept. From this position you'll also be ready to react to the player's attempts to get free, like a front cut or reverse pivot. You can find out about all these in the movement guides in this academy. Stage 2 defending is about what you do when the player you're marking has the ball and is attempting to pass. Your aim at this stage is to slow down the attack, limit that player's passing options and if possible force a mistake that leads to an interception. To mark the pass, you have to stand a minimum 3 feet or 90 centimetres away from the passing player's landing foot, and you need to get into this position as quickly as you can. Keep your weight on your balls of your feet with your knees flexed ready to jump, and your arms outstretched to obscure as much of the passing area as you can. Remember that if you're closer than 3 feet, then you can't raise your arms until you're back to that position. So move your hips back, and then put your hands up. This will help you to avoid being pulled up for obstruction. Watch the player's eyes to see where they're looking for options and be ready to tip or intercept the pass. When the player moves to throw the pass, be prepared to attempt to tip it. Be warned though, the player may use a fake pass, where the eyes look one way but the ball goes the other. Defenders often get into the closest legal position called a three foot mark, so that the attacker is forced into throwing a particular pass in a particular situation. For example, if the defender holds their arms out to the side, then the attacker may throw the pass over the defender's head, giving defenders a better chance of intercepting the pass. An interception is rarely the work of one defender. It's the combined effort of two defenders working together to close out space and place the passing attacker under pressure. The final stage of defending is stage 3 and it's about what you do after the pass has been released at stage 2. Once the player you're marking has thrown a pass, your job is to legally delay that player's advance to receive another pass. At stage 3 you need to maintain your position and angle your body so it prevents the other player moving to the space they're trying to reach. Or alternatively, challenge them into a certain direction away from the pass they've just given towards a sideline to make their movement difficult or just generally hold them up. To channel an attacker effectively, you need to be aware of the ball and be able to judge where you think the attacker will run. The more netball you play and watch, the better you'll become at this. Stage 3 should only be a momentary phase of defending, 
where you take advantage of the stage 2 defending position before you return to using stage 1 marking. So, they're the essentials of defending covered. Let's recap on the key points you'll need to remember. Whenever the opposing team has the ball, your team is defending, and you need to work together as a team to slow down the pace of the attack, limit passing options, and create opportunities to regain possession of the ball. There's three stages to defending. The first stage is about marking an individual player. Your objective at this stage is to prevent the player you're marking from receiving the ball, and you need to stand with a body position that allows you to react and adjust, using rapid small steps, to react to changes in the other player's movements. Stage 2 defending is about marking the pass attempt, and you should watch the player's eyes carefully if you want to attempt an interception, but watch out for those fake passes. Finally, Stage 3 is about momentarily delaying the player's advance once they've released a pass, and preventing them from quickly moving to a new space to receive the ball again. So now that you have the essentials of defending covered, why not find a drill to practice your new skills in the Drills Guides? Intosport.com the home of world-class sports coaching online.